I am now going to analyze the conclusion of how the money works and breaks down after the 10-year note period expires. The first part of the payout is the remaining principal balance due. The second part is the interest due that accumulated. And the third part we'll ultimately look at as the 20% equitable position instrument and the payout process and calculation based on those appraisals we talked about and the appreciation of the property during your note period. Remember, you receive 20% of the property's value increase on top of your interest and on top of the remaining principal due. So the first thing we're going to look at over the 10-year period is the principal balance was reduced exactly at $11,016 a year, which was $918 a month. Now, the note expired in 120 months, 10 years. So from September 2016 to September 2026, this is based on a real note scenario that we are presently in process of. $918 a month was paid. So the principal repayment of that $200,000 returned it as a tax-free income stream is $110,160. So there's a remaining principal due. That's check one at the end of the 10-year note. You receive a separate check of $89,840. That returns the full $200,000 that you secured with the property or the asset. Now the note holder has the $200,000 loan restored in full. And for tax reasons, this is a non-taxable event. So everything we talk about from this point on is a taxable event, so we write separate checks for your accounting purposes to keep it simple for you. But there's one other thing I want to talk about at this juncture. Say you're still alive at the end of the 10-year note. That would be a blessing, right? And you want to do this again, and you don't want to pay the taxes on this interest. So you keep this in mind right now. Whatever the total is from the EPI, the interest, and the money due you, we can rewrite a new note on another project. You could start fresh at the current market interest rates, get a new income stream, and again, never pay while you're alive taxes on the increased gain because it's not a taxable event until you receive the money. So we can restructure the note and make a brand new note. Maybe you want to do a five-year note next time. I don't know. Whatever your situation dictates, maybe you want to keep having a, an additional income stream, not a taxable event, and then let your heirs, your children, or whoever the benefactors are of your estate, pay the taxes at the expiration of that note period if you're not still alive, and you had all the use of your money during the period of this note, never paid income tax on the gain, and actually gave yourself a raise because you're going to get a new note at new market rates starting with a higher principal than you began with. Isn't that awesome? So part two, let's look at how the interest accumulated on the back end that's now part of your contract and due. In year one, you started with $200,000. There was no decrease. You received 5.75% interest. So in year one, your money accumulated $11,500. In year number two, you received over $11,000 back. In year number two, you are paid your 5.75% interest based on your $188,984 left of your principal. So your interest in year two is $10,866.58. Remember, you're getting a tax-free income stream because we are returning your own principal while you're alive. There's no other financial product on the market like it. That's secured, gives you a tax-free income stream, use of your capital, and an increase to beat inflation for the end of the note. So year three, you are now reduced another $11,016 through your $918 monthly payment. Year three, you have $177,968 that we are paying you accumulated interest on. That's $10,233.16. This is pure passive income. You've got your money secured, your money bringing you income on the declining note balance tax-free, and working for you on the back end as a buffer against inflation, maintaining the value of your money. Year four. You paid another $11,016. You've been paid over $33,048 of your money. 
And so as a result, $166,952, 5.75% accumulating interest, $9,599.74. Year five, another $11,016 was paid. Your remaining principal that we're paying you interest on is one fifty five nine thirty six, eighty nine sixty six passively. Year six, one hundred and forty four thousand nine hundred and twenty left. You've been paid about fifty five thousand and eighty bucks on your money, and now you have eighty three thirty two ninety in interest in your accumulation account. Year seven, you've been given back sixty six thousand and ninety six bucks of your money. You have one hundred and thirty three thousand nine hundred and four dollars left. accumulating. Year eight, another 12 months of 918 a month, 122 grand and 888 left. Interest being paid accumulated, 7,066. Year nine, 111,872 bucks is what is accumulating. That's principal still due you, 6432.64. Year 10, you're paid on the basis of $100,856, $57.99.22 in interest. And so earlier in the presentation, I told you something. All financial products that you're sold are based on a promise. I also made a statement that said that while we have promises and covenant agreements inherent in our product, you have security that you can go touch and see and visit. Your note, you're the banker. You have the same security that Chase or Wells Fargo has when they loan a mortgage. But here's what's better about your security than what Chase and Wells Fargo loans on, by and large. Remember, they're spreading their loans to millions of people. Now think about this. I'm going to answer a question that many people are thinking about. I wonder why Dollar Brains just doesn't go and buy great houses and fix them up and sell them at a good price. That can be done with our own money. That's not a problem. That's plausible. But after we saw the economic reset and collapse, houses are only appreciating by and large at a couple of percent a year. And interestingly enough, as markets shift and economies change, individual residences are at risk. There are a lot of houses in some markets in the country that are still worth less than the replacement value to build them. So we made a fundamental decision at Dollar Brains to secure your future with a secured yield certificate. Our fundamental decision was this. Income-based appraisals only increase with inflation and time. We will not buy any properties with secured yield certificates on long-term notes that are not secured by multi-residential assets. Apartments, three units and up, with maybe a nice piece of property on it where we can add more units because that's we look for those things. And mobile home parks. I'm starting to look at mobile home parks. I love mobile home parks. But the bottom line is, even if an asset doesn't seem to be great visually or otherwise, as long as they're habitable and can create an increasing inflation-proof income stream, then you're most secure. So at the end of this presentation, you're going to see something we purchased in Las Vegas. You will be horrified initially when you walk in and you you can imagine me talking to my partners and founders of Dollar Brains, telling them why we needed to buy this, this building on this junkyard that had burned out units in it. And I had the vision of what it would be worth. And I can literally tell you, and my chief financial officer, Maxim Beta, co-founder of Dollar Brains, Dr. Anderson and others can tell you this. I told them in detail the secured yield certificate we would eventually write against it in a year if they would go with me and put up their cash to buy this property and renovate it. We got exactly that number. The appraisal came back exactly how it needed to. And I was able to calculate that appraisal based on my mathematical computation of what fair market rent should be with that product fixed up. And guess what happened? The appraisal came back based on the rental income streams that we achieved, like clockwork. No tricky math, no moving the game on you, no moving the shell. We buy assets where we truly have a win-win situation for you and I, for you and our company. We don't want to buy something that isn't going to increase in value for us. We want to have yield like you do. But at the same time, As our yield increases, your security increases. Because remember, at Dollar Brains, if this project in Vegas, for example, 
we put 130 grand in it to buy this junkyard, literally, with no income producing units. We changed it around. We, we rolled up our sleeves. We subbed everything out through our own company. And we had less than 180 grand in it after spending 15 grand on 40 dumpsters to clear junk out of the back property. With that being said, within a year and two months, we turned our $180,000 investment into an income-based appraisal that came back at 335 grand. We almost doubled our money on that first project. And excitingly enough, as you see the project and you see the pictures of what we did, you'll be able to see a copy of the checks on the yield certificate we sold with the new appraisal. You'll be able to see the actual note documentation and validation on everything we're sharing with you. A proven process with a proven track record. And now we're ready to take it to the next level. So I just wanted to share some more with you. On, and now we're going to go to the final on how the money works. So remember, you just saw that you had $89,496.10 of interest paid on this 10 years. So on your 200 grand over 10 years with a declining loan balance after getting $11,016 a year or $918 back of monthly usable income while your money was growing in appreciation and secured in an asset that we could never borrow against or, or pledge against new assets. Now imagine in Vegas, that $180,000, what if you would have put your $180,000 in for that note and that renovation? It's worth $335,000 right away. We don't go borrow against that $335,000. Your asset with your note cannot be refinanced or touched. So your value in security increases each year while your balance decreases. We're paying you back eleven grand a year of your own money, and the property value of what you're holding goes up. That is a win-win-win for you. And it helps us, too, because we can build a portfolio with unlimited investors securing each property as a standalone product. So over the 10-year period, review. $11,016 of your own money came back to you on a declining loan balance tax-free. You got $918 tax-free income a month on two hundred grand. Now, at the end of that 10 years, you, you received $110,160 tax-free of your own money back. We owe you $89,840. Once we write you this first check of $89,840, we're squared up on the two hundred grand. Now, the second check comes, and this becomes a taxable event that you really need to consider when you're still alive. And so now you've got your $89,840 back. Now we owe you another check for your interest of $86,496.10. The third check coming is going to be that 20 to 30% EPI, that $46,000 or so thereabouts on the appreciation of what I'm going to show you next. The money received was $110,160 of your own money, paid out in three checks, you have $222,336.10 given to you after receiving your 110. The total after 10 years is $332,496.10 on a secured $200,000 note in which you had use of your money tax-free. The bottom line is there's an appreciation of an equitable position instrument. The property we are referencing in these next pictures that you'll see had a unique feature. It is slated in a rezoning area to become industrial. Thus, at the end of 10 years, the projected value would exceed $800,000 without the units, without the income on it, if they were cleared off. But just on income-based appraisals, renting the yard and the units and multi-residential property, the value is going to be over five hundred grand. So remember at the beginning appraisal, at the beginning appraisal, your second appraisal in this scenario was $270,000. So the minimum appreciation of the asset over the 10-year period of the note will be $230,000 for our company. But remember, you have a 20% participation in that $230,000. 20%. Now, on top of your interest, we owe you another $46,000 check increasing your yield substantially 
Now, if I were you and I was still alive, I would say, wait a minute, these guys have a couple hundred thousand dollars I'm still owed. Actually, $222,000 or $232,000, as I recall, was, was still owed you. You can now start with the $222,336.10 we owe you, starting with your first basis of eighty nine grand that we still owed you. You can add the interest in the secured yield portion, and you can take and start this again with another $222,000, no money out of your pocket, and start a whole new income stream at those future market rates as another tax-free event that can accumulate again. That's the excitement of it. I'm excited in the next part of this presentation to show you what we did tangibly and how it works out so you can see, touch, and feel our product in action.